So, are you all familiar with the Me Project? Like, where all of life is just about me, where every single thing that you do is just to see how I can have a better life. Because that was, that was my job before I met Balanced View. I was very, very involved in the Me Project. Everything I did, every choice I make, every person I met with, it was all how could that make me feel better. And uh, the way that I thought that I could feel better was to have more positive thoughts, more positive emotions and more positive sensations. So I would do everything I could to make sure that I only experienced positivity. So if that was to lose weight, so I would, you know, spend my whole life working on ways in which I could lose weight so that I would feel better. If that was to have money, so I would dedicate my life to, doesn't matter what I was doing, if I was enjoying it or not, to find ways so that I could have more money in my bank account so that I would have more positive thoughts. And then I could, and then I could enjoy life more. And but then there was always these contradictions like, okay, but I'm supposed to enjoy my job. And so then I would have to, you know, find a job that I liked that could make me lots of money where I still had time to exercise so I could lose weight. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it was so, it was really, really hard because it felt like every choice that I made, something else was sacrificed. And in order to have the best of everything, it was really stressful and really intense. All I wanted was positive thoughts all the time. That's all I wanted. And I thought, surely that's possible. Like, I felt like, surely everybody else, that person, that person, that person, they're happy, they experience positive thoughts. Why can't I have that all the time? And every time I experience something negative, about myself or about somebody else, then I thought, wow, I've really failed. Like, I'm really a failure of a human. Like, this is, this is not how human beings are, are supposed to operate. Human beings are always supposed to be happy with positive thoughts. And now I'm experiencing something negative, like anxiety or fear or hatred for another person hatred for myself, the worst, embarrassment of myself, my behaviour, anxious when I'm with other people, I'm a failure. And, um, and even though all of this was going on, I still showed up to life smiling and happy. You know, like if you would meet my friends, they'd say, Romy's a really happy person. She's She's really got it going on because nobody knew that this was what I was experiencing. Nobody knew. And uh, I didn't even know, actually. <laughs> I was so skilled at uh, avoiding all of my negative thoughts. As soon as something negative came on, like if I was out with my friends and I started to feel awkward, I could just quickly go grab a glass of wine and have a few sips and, oh, I'm so free again. So I didn't let myself feel like that. If I was with my, I remember being in situations when I was with my partner and I would be so, so angry and I'd just say to him, I just, I'm just going to go for a run because I can't get rid of this anger and I'm so, let's just not speak, I'm just going to go for a run. Go for a run, come back and, oh, okay, thank God, the anger's gone. You know, so it's just like so scared of myself, constantly so scared of myself and what I might feel next. And, um, and then when I, I came to Balanced View, I didn't really know why I was coming or what I was getting into. I actually just sort of showed up to this training just because I had some friends of mine that were, that were coming. And I just was, oh, I'll just go with them. Don't want to miss out on something. That was a big one for me. Can't miss out on anything. <laughs> so, I, uh, so I came to 
the balanced view to an open meeting back, it was, I think, in 2007, and uh, didn't really understand anything that, that was being said at all, but uh, still didn't want to miss out on something. And I felt like, you know, the way that the trainers spoke, they felt like they had something that, that I wanted. So I just found myself coming back the next day. And what I was introduced to when I came here was open intelligence. Open intelligence. And I learned that open intelligence, this is, this is who I naturally am. This is what I naturally am. This is what unites all humans. Open intelligence. When you just stop thinking just for a moment, what remains? open intelligence, vast, clear, open, powerful, open like the sky, inexhaustible. You know, if you just go outside today at some point and you look up to the sky, you see like there's no end point of the sky. There's no beginning, there's no end. It's just inexhaustible sky, forever and ever, ever sky. That's who we are. That's what we are. When you tap into open intelligence, and you recognize this sky-like quality about yourself, it's very easy to see that we're not limited to this body, this Romy. Open intelligence is wide, free, open, spacious, powerful, limitless. That's who we are and that's what we start to that's what we start to gain familiarity in. So one way in which we can really tap into open intelligence is we can just take short moments of recognizing open intelligence whenever we naturally remember to do so. And in open intelligence is complete relief, complete relief. So when you're feeling a thought that you really don't want to have, like fear and you feel like all right this is a sign that there's something wrong this is a sign that I need to get rid of this thought we take a short moment of open intelligence and what you see is that that thought no matter what it is no matter what there's nothing that you can name that is not included in open intelligence that thought is completely inseparable from open intelligence like the blue and the colour, like, like the colour blue in the sky. It's inseparable from each other. You can't take the blue out of the sky. You can't take the fear out of open intelligence. It's as weird as the sky saying, oh, I'm blue today. You know, take, get, get this, take this away. Or in the sunset, you know, when the sky changes colours, it's like, indigo, all these different colours, yellow, orange. And the sky's like, oh, I'm supposed to be blue. Why am I orange? <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> we, when, we, when we see that, it's obvious. It's like, this is just the natural flow of the sky. The sky is completely unaffected by what colours it is, by if there's clouds, if it's raining, if it's thundering, if there's lightning, if it's snowing, if it's sunny. The sky doesn't care. The sky is unflinching, powerful, and that's our capacity. It's a great analogy to see what we are. We are like sky. We don't care if we're anxious, if we're fearful, if we're happy, if we're sad, if we're jealous. It doesn't matter because our sky-like quality is just is that is what we're tapping into. Our sky-like quality is powerful, unflinching. And so no matter what arises, and in Balanced View we can just call all thoughts, all emotions, all sensations, data. Because we see that we can just label them as one thing because none of them are different from each other. Even though we've grown up our whole lives learning that the negative, you know, that there are some negative, there are some positive, there are some neutral. 
So we feel like they're all different and they all have these different qualities. We actually learn when we tap into open intelligence, when we take short moments of sky, short moments of open intelligence, we see that there's nothing different about any of them. All of them are just the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And so it's brilliant when we feel something so intense like fear that uh, because it reminds us, it's this amazing, amazing reminder that we can take a short moment, that we can recognize that this fear is inseparable from sky-like open intelligence. And so, you know, if we didn't feel that fear, maybe we would forget to take a short moment and could carry on with our life, believing that uh, our thoughts are separate from open intelligence and limiting ourselves, limiting who we are to the descriptions. But when the, when the data stream is so strong and so intense, we, we have to find a solution for it. So instead of using antidotes that we used in the past, like, you know, going for a run or having a drink or whatever it was, everybody has their favourite antidotes. Instead of trying to get rid of our negative thoughts, emotions, sensations, we take a short moment instead and we allow that thought to be exactly as it is. Exactly as it is. Nothing about it needs to change. That's what we see when we rely on open intelligence. We see that nothing about what we're experiencing needs to change at all. And that's really wild in the beginning to see that like we can just let our fear be as it is. You know, even last night I was lying in bed trying to go to sleep and all of a sudden I started to feel these sensations that I would... Um, I could probably label as fear or anxiety. Just lying in bed, want to really want to go to sleep, have the open meeting tomorrow morning, need to get a good night's sleep. And then spontaneous arising of sensations in my body. And uh, in the past, that would be, you know, a really big problem. How am I going to possibly go to sleep while I'm experiencing all of these sensations? Like, definitely, what can I do to make these go away? But knowing that I can just completely relax and allow these sensations, these bodily sensations, to be exactly as they are is such a relief. I don't need to scribe to describe them. I don't need to analyze them. I don't need to work out why they're there. I don't need to talk to somebody about them. Because I could make many stories about why they're there and what I need to do to make them go away and have a full plan of attack and my whole life course change because of these sensations that are appearing. But in a short moment of relying on open intelligence, I see that I can completely relax. I can just allow these sensations to be exactly as they are. And then what happens is they naturally resolve. Like the flight path of a bird in the sky, they leave absolutely no trace. Did they even happen last night? I didn't even... I have no, no scar from what happened last night from these sensations, they leave no trace, like a line drawn in water. So this is, you know, provides you with so much more energy to live your life. Like now, you just don't need to dedicate and spend and focus your life on trying to make your negative sensations go away and trying to accumulate more positive because like the sky, we just don't care what comes up. And so the me project just ends. It just, it just completely ends and all of the self-focus just completely dissolves. And we, when we have data come up about things about ourselves that need to change, that's just another opportunity for us to completely relax. 
and to set, take support. So, you know, so if, um, if we feel, if the sensation or if the data stream is so intense that we can't take a short moment, it just feels like we can't, we just can't do that. So what I did last night was I took out a text, a book. We have so many books. And, um, and I just read, read the book. And then at some point when I was like, okay, the reading's great, but I just like would love to fall asleep. So I put on a talk. We have so many talks online, so many talks. And, um, and it's, it's just, it's so incredible because take, listening to talks, reading a book or joining a training, um, this is just another form of short moments. It's just another way to take a short moment. So this is, we, we have something called the Four Mainstays in Balanced View. And so using the media is one of the mainstays. Taking a short moment is another one of the mainstays. And um, being with the community is another mainstay, just another way to take a short moment. And so we just come together, gather together, see each other, speak to each other, and we just naturally allow our data streams to be as they are. And then another very precious mainstays, which makes up the four mainstays, is the trainer. And um, having the opportunity to be with a trainer, somebody who has gone before you, who has clarified all of the data streams that you're experiencing. You have the opportunity to, to ask somebody, all right, I'm feeling... I'm feeling this sensation. I'm feeling like something about me needs to change. I feel like I'm not good enough. And then the trainer is there to say, oh yeah, I've been there, I've done that, I've clarified it, here's what you can do. I've tested it out, I know that it works. I know that open intelligence is the solution to the most easiest, easeful life. So here's, here's what you can do to support yourself, to not feel so tensed and stressed about what you're feeling. This is the way that you can just completely enjoy your life. And so when you use the Four Mainstays, you, it is just a, a guarantee that you will recognize open intelligence in your day-to-day -day experience. And this is a very, like, not a guarantee to be taken lightly. This is an incredible guarantee. Like... I mean, personally for me, I had never met another training that guaranteed me that I would use, I would be able to recognize open intelligence tomorrow. You know, there were some trainings that would say in another lifetime, after like 30 years of studying, you just like with so many conditions, here, there's nothing needed. Just show up and open intelligence will be your your experience and live a life of complete shine, perfect love. <laughs>